Hi, that was a demo WFR captured with live recording mode. Smooth and stable movements are easy and reproducible. This is part two of my tutorial, Waypoint Pro, how it really works. Because I'm going into fine detail, this tutorial has been divided into two parts. Part one dealt with creating waypoints and waypoint flight routes by flying the route. This part two deals with waypoint and waypoint flight route creation in map mode. If you haven't already, watch part one now and then come back. As mentioned in part one, Waypoint Pro is a powerful tool for computer flight control of Inspire 3. I'll be presenting detail. If you don't catch the detail the first time, rewind and rewatch. Let's get into editing and creating a WFR in map mode. But as a fundamental, remember that Waypoint Pro is designed around the creation of waypoints and waypoint flight routes. When you open a WFR from the library, the display shows the WFR parameters on the right and a map view on the left. By default, the map view shows the home point, Inspire 3 location, waypoint locations, and the track path between waypoints. You can drag the map to change the viewpoint. There are three icons that are between the editing dialog box and the map. If you tap the lowest one, the gear icon, you can edit the following. Flight route naming. You can accept the default name, waypoint number, or type in a name that you prefer. Altitude mode. Here you can tap to set altitudes as relative to takeoff point or above sea level. Show waypoint number. This option allows display of the waypoint numbers. If the screen gets cluttered, you can deselect this option and the others that follow. Show waypoint altitude. This option displays the altitude for each waypoint. Show waypoint distance. This option displays the waypoint to waypoint distance. After tapping a WFR to activate it, the RC Plus screen will show the route parameters on the right and the map on the left. To the left of the map, you can tap the map to set a waypoint. You can tap a waypoint icon to activate it and then drag it to change position. You can tap and rotate waypoint gimbal yaw by dragging the arrow at the edge of the waypoint number display. There are four icons that control editing in map mode. The top one engages editing of waypoints. The second reverses the waypoint order, flying last to first. The third icon will delete all waypoints, and the lowest icon will delete a selected waypoint. If you want to create a WFR in map mode from start to finish, there's a method accessed from the home page. On the home page, tap Flight Route, which takes you to the library. Tap Create a Route. Tap Set Waypoints. On the left side of the map view, examine the teardrop icon. It should already be active and it should be the only one not grayed out. Tap the position for Waypoint 1. Then move to the position of Waypoint 2 and tap again. You'll see waypoint icons with arrows indicating gimbal direction. The flight path will also be displayed. Continue selecting waypoint locations as desired. Now that you have waypoints, you need to edit the route and the waypoint parameters using the methods for editing WFR and waypoints in part one of this tutorial. Pay attention that when you set waypoints in map mode, you did not set altitude or gimbal pitch for the WFR or individual waypoints. Check and set these parameters as appropriate. Now WFRs tend to accumulate and you may wish to clean up the library at some point. To delete WFRs, navigate to the home page, then click route, click select in the upper right corner of the screen, Click on the flight route to be deleted. Click the trash can icon at the bottom of the page. A pop-up, confirm to delete the selected route, will appear. Tap delete to delete the selected route. That's the end of part two and the end of this tutorial. I trust you will embrace the material presented and you will pass your private field exam with ease. Be safe, productive, and happy.